Hello, welcome to my shop. So a few months ago I bought the Shaper Origin. Now, I've mostly made templates and guitar parts with it, but I also bought it to do some inlay. So I got this cool router bit set from Stumac that goes down to a 32nd of an inch. So to try out the bits with Origin, I came up with these simple wall plaques for my son's rooms. Now they don't have a lot of detail, but there are some sharp corners that will really let me see how the bits perform. To make these, I downloaded some SVG files of the logos from the internet. Now they're not my files, so I can't give them to you, but they're out there if you search for them. To prep these files for Origin, we're going to head to Illustrator, and then we'll get started. I usually start my Origin files with Shaper's template. It sets up the correct units and gives you a handy palette for color coding your paths. The Origin will use the colors as hints for default operations. I'll start by pulling in the Overwatch logo and place that on the canvas. Then I'll create an 8x8 inch circle that will be the perimeter of the plaque. Then I'll scale the logo to fit the plaque, leaving something around a quarter inch spacing from the outer edge. This looks pretty good. Now I need to deal with the sharp corners. I need to set the corner radius to match the router bit, which is 1 32nd of an inch, giving us a radius of 1 64th of an inch, or 0 0.015625. Then I'll just go through and set this radius on every corner. Now I'll set up the coloring. For the plaque, I use a pocketing cut for the places where the inlay goes, and an exterior cut for the plaque body. Then I'll copy the paths for the inlay and flip them horizontally because I'm not cutting all the way through my quarter inch material. The 1 32nd inch bit can only cut about 1 8 inch deep. This will make more sense when I actually do it. The inlay pieces are set up as exterior cuts. Now I'll export the designs as SVG for the origin. I'll get rid of the helper palette and inlay pieces for now and export the plaque body. Then I'll bring back the inlay pieces and export the paths for them. I'll do the same again for the Skyrim logo. There are a lot more corners to change in this design. Now I'll fumble through creating the plaque perimeter. I'll be using up some scraps for this project. For the Overwatch logo, I'll inlay ash and cherry into walnut, and for the Skyrim logo, I'll inlay walnut into ash. I'll spare you the milling process and jump right to the inlay. To set up the workstation, I'll start with a spoil board of half inch MDF. I'll be cutting the quarter inch inlay pieces first, so I'll lay out a tape board on quarter inch MDF. I spaced the tape a couple inches apart about halfway up the board. I'll start with the cherry piece of the Overwatch logo, using double sided tape to secure it to the spoil board. Then I'll surround it with a few pieces of MDF to support the router when it's near the edges. The 
The first step is to scan in the work surface. Make sure you get most of the tape in the piece itself. Next, I'll lay out the piece. The grain has a slight curve and would look a little better if the shape is oriented upside down, so I rotated it and reset the anchor in the origin before placing it on the workpiece. Starting with a quarter inch bit here, cutting at a depth of 0.2 inches and an offset of 5 thousandths. Cutting at an offset outside the line lets me come back for a final cut removing only 5 thousandths, leaving a nicer surface. At this point I realize the shape has no sharp inside corners so I can get away with using only the quarter inch bit and cut through the piece completely. This pass cuts through the piece using 0.26 inches for the depth, still using the 5 thousandths offset. For the final cut, I'll remove the offset, trimming away the extra material. Now I'll put the piece of ash down and cut the other part of the logo, starting with scanning in the workplace and placing the shape. I'll start again with the quarter inch bit at a depth of 0.2 inches and a 5 thousandths offset. Next, I'll put in the 1 8 inch bit set to a depth of 0.11 inches and no offset. Now I'm up to the 132nd inch bit, again at a depth of 0.11 inches and no offset.
Finally, I'll come back with a 1 8 inch bit to cut through the piece using a depth of 0.26 inches with a 50 thousandths offset just to make sure I don't mess up the edge. I'll go through the same process with the Skyrim logo, but I'll also do a run with a 1 16th inch bit before the 1 32nd inch. The shape has a lot of acute corners and using the 1 16th inch bit keeps me from having to hog away extra material with the 1 32nd inch bit. Here I've set up a half inch tape board to cut the plaques. I'm starting with the overwatch plaque, securing it with double sided tape. I'll scan the piece in as always and start with a quarter inch bit doing a pocketing cut at 0.1 inch depth. That's a little less than the 0.11 inch used in the inlay pieces just to make sure they can fully seat. For these cuts you just move the router around coloring in the shape on the screen. Next I'll use a 1 8 inch bit to do an inside cut on the line using a 5 thousandths offset. Finally I'll use the 1 32nd inch bit with no offset to give the line its final pass. Now I can test fit the pieces. This cherry piece is a little tight so I'm going to do another inside cut at a minus one thousandths offset. Using negative offsets you can really sneak up on the fit. This was still a little tight, so I ended up taking two more thousandths off before getting a good fit. The other piece fits well without taking any extra off. I'd suggest testing each piece, especially if they're different materials, rather than assuming they'll all need the same offset. Now we'll cut the perimeter of the plaque using the one quarter inch bit. The first pass at a quarter inch depth with a 50 thousandths offset.
I'll do a second pass at 0.51 inches depth, keeping the offset, then a final cleanup pass with no offset. I'll get this one glued up before cutting the Skyrim plaque. I'm just using tight bond 2 here and a whole lot of clamps. Off camera I cut and glued up the Skyrim plaque and let them cure overnight. The next day, I pull them out of the clamps and clean them up. There are a bunch of ways to remove the excess wood. You could use hand planes, a belt or orbital sander, or a drum sander. I'm going to use a bandsaw first to cut off the bulk of it, then run them through the drum sander. After that, I'll go to the router table to round over the front edge with a roundover bit. Then I'll hit them with the orbital sander, 180 grit, followed by 220. I'll also clean up the edges and break the corner on the backs by hand. For finish, I'm trying some water-based spray-on poly. I'd never used it before, but it came out fine. I ended up using four coats, sanding with 320 before the final coat. To hang the pieces, I'll use some picture hangers I had laying around. I drill some pilot holes and screw them in. Now I'll give them a test hang on my barren shop walls. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about Origin, put them below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll see you next time.